For months, we've been reporting on a shortage of health care workers across the country. Here in Saskatchewan, finding a family physician is increasingly difficult. To shed some light on the situation, I'm joined by Dr. Lawrence Lowe. Dr. Lowe is the new CEO and Executive Director of the College of Family Physicians of Canada. Thanks for being here. Thanks so much for having me. So first off, what are family physicians telling you about the state of health care in this country? What are they seeing? One of the biggest challenges uh, after the COVID-19 pandemic's acute phase has passed through is that many people have uh, really been at this for you know two, two and a half years. Uh, a lot of family physicians are, are burnt out. Um, a lot of uh, family physicians have also retired, which means that those that are left behind are still facing numerous challenges, just dealing with uh, a lot of, uh, you know, as life has returned to normal, so have the, the problems. Uh, you know, a lot of administrative burdens, a lot of folks with more diseases uh, and diseases that have had delayed diagnosis diagnoses uh, that are finally just starting to come to light. So, uh, you know, I think uh, family physicians are, are trying their best, but they are uh, dwindling in overall numbers and also facing uh, more insurmountable pressures. Now, one obvious, though far from easy solution uh, that comes out of what you just said is to get more doctors, but you can only get through medical school so quickly. Um, is there any sort of other solution, a short term remedy to this problem? And, and who would be responsible for that in your eyes? Well, right now, I think there's there's a lot of different solutions that need to be put into place. So yes, getting more doctors and working through the mid and long term to ensure that we are attracting more people into family medicine uh, is going to be critical. Uh, as we know, one of the challenges is that uh, remuneration and the practice environment for family uh, medicine continues to be really challenging. Um, and uh, that also means that many of the best and brightest are, are not necessarily choosing family medicine when it is really a, a, a really wonderful and, and critical specialty, the bedrock of uh, of our healthcare system. Uh, in the short term, though, what we really need is relief for uh, physicians uh, where they stand right now. Uh, there are many forms, for example, that aren't uh, covered by uh, provincial insurance. Is there some way to rationalize uh, those administrative burdens, uh, all the administrative work that family doctors do, because they essentially run uh, clinics as small practices? Uh, the other thing is locum support. So trying to find an opportunity for just some family doctors to uh, get some help uh, seeing patients, meeting those needs of those patients, while they can actually take some time off uh, and reflect and regenerate, especially after uh, what has been a grueling two and a half years. So there's some great points you made on, on the side of the doctors. What, what advice would you have for people who need consistent medical care and, and they simply can't find it at the moment? Well, I think at this uh, at this point in time, uh, it is really important to continue uh, searching for uh, you know family doctors uh, as we work through uh, some of these challenges and hopefully as some of these remedies come in, uh, you know that will help to free up the time uh, of physicians. We do know as well uh, in the in the middle to long term uh, that moving towards uh, bigger practice models, uh, team based models where family doctors work in multidisciplinary teams with other providers, uh, that will help some of the folks that actually need. Uh, some of their uh, more regular consistent care to be met uh, to be able to do so uh, but in the meantime uh, you know I would say as they as they're working through things uh, make sure that they're uh, keeping abreast uh, signing up for all the various uh, lists that may be available uh, of doctors that may be taking patients uh, hopefully as some of those short-term uh, uh, remedies trickle in uh, there will be a greater free time and, and hopefully greater availability of family physicians to take care of uh, take care of those patients. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me today.